Welcome to Electro Online, and here's another example of how to find the permutations of a number of books that we put on the shelf. Now, here are the books. We have three math books, two history books, four biology books. So, a total of uh, five, nine books that are placed on the shelf. A, there's no restriction, so you can put the books any which way you want. B, all the subjects must stay together. And then C, only the biology books must stay together. So how many different permutations can we have when we put the books on the shelf? So first of all, when there's no restrictions, there's, so there's nine individual books, and you don't care what subject they are. So therefore, we know that for part A, the number of permutations, we have nine books with nine spaces. This is equal to nine factorial, which is equal to, wow, let's see if we can figure that out. 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Well, we know that this here is equal to 120 times 6 is equal to 720. And then, well, I'll just go ahead and grab my calculator for the rest. So 720 times 7 times 8 times 9, and we get 362,880 combinations. 362,880. Oh, I shouldn't say combinations, permutations. All right, now for part B. All the subjects must stay together, which means that all the math books can be rearranged in a certain number of ways. All the history books can be rearranged in a certain number of ways. All the biology books can be rearranged in some ways. And then for each permutation of the math books, you can have so many permutations for the history books, so many permutations for the biology books, and then where the biology books, the history books, and the math books are placed relative to each other, that's another set of permutations. So, the way that works then is for part B, we have three math books. So for the math books, so the total permutations is equal to the permutations of the math books, which is three and three, times the permutations of the history books, which is two and two, times the permutations of the biology books, four and four, and now we have three sets and the three sets can then be arranged in a number of ways. And so therefore times the permutations of three sets, which is three and three like that. Again, when these numbers are the same, that's the same as three factorial, two factorial, four factorial, and three factorial. Or we can write this as three factorial times two factorial times four factorial times three factorial, which is equal to six times two times 24 times six which is equal to 36 times 2, which is 72 times 24, which 20 times 72, which is 1440, plus 4 times 70, which is 280, plus 4 times 2, which is 8, and so it's equal to 16, 1720, that's 1728 permutations. I hope that's correct. Why not go ahead and try it out with a calculator real quick to make sure I did it correct. 72 times 24 equals... 17, 28, that is correct. Finally, for part C, only biology books must stay together. All right, let's see then. We have three math books, two history books, and four biology books. But if those stay together, what we can then assume for the time being is let's keep them all together in one order and think of this as one single book. And so we have one times this times this. So that means the number of permutations is equal to, we have the per permutations for the mad books because they can be arranged in any way we want. The permutations for the history books, well, wait a minute, they don't need to stay together. So actually what we can think about is this way. That's a better way to think about it and actually the correct way. Notice that we have three mad books and two history books and they can be arranged any which way we want. So it's actually like five books and then those four biology books put together Think of it as one book, then we have a total of six books that can be arranged in any which way we want. Therefore, it will be the number of permutations of six and six means three math, two history, and all the biology books put together is as, as if we had six separate books. But then we have to realize that the biology books can also be arranged within themselves in a number of ways. And so we have to multiply that times the permutations with four books and four spaces. And so this then becomes equal to 6 factorial times 4 factorial. And so 6 factorial would be equal to 720. 4 factorial is equal to 24. So this would be 720 times 24. That would be the same as that with another 0. 17280. So it would be 17,280 different permutations when you have 
Uh, let's see here. Three math books, two history books, which can be arranged any way you want, four biology books, which need to stay together. That's how we do that.